Uh, hi, I'm Michael, and I'm the founder of Nodium, which is a community of university students, lecturers, and researchers all working together you know, on a collaboration platform, so kind of having discussions uh, around projects they're doing, courses they're taking at university, common interests, absolutely anything. So when I was studying at university, um, there was just no real way for me to engage with the people I was studying with around the work that I was doing. There was no way for me to go and ask questions, have discussions, share documents. Uh, the most used thing was like, we'd all set up Facebook groups, but that wasn't really within an academic context. So uh, while at university, I kind of started building something that allowed me to go and ask questions um, about the work that I was doing. And so that's kind of, after graduating, that turned into Nodium and kind of it's now what it is today. I mean, the first is just knowing what to do. Like, so when you decide to start a business, and like, what's the first thing you do? And it's kind of validating your product, like validating the idea, making sure that what you're doing is kind of actually going to go somewhere. And I guess the, the main thing to do is just be really confident in what you're doing. And if there are any areas that you're not confident in, find out kind of more about it, seek help. Um, yeah, it's, it's difficult starting, but kind of you'll find like you'll feel like you'll probably feel the right thing to do. And I just really like the idea of being able to make products and solve problems that people had. Like to be able to build something that then gets used by thousands of students is is really cool. My friends thought I was nuts uh, to do this instead of getting a job. My parents were amazingly supportive. Like they said, go for it. Um, my feeling was that if I don't do it now, then I'll just regret it. So what better time to do it than kind of just leaving university? I mean, there's, there's never going to be a good time to start a business, I don't think. So mm -hmm. just do it when you've got an idea. Education is a really big sector, so people kind of use the term education very broadly, but of course you've got primary education all the way up to higher education at universities, so vastly different sectors. Um, there are all sorts of, there's all sorts of change going on in education at the moment, uh, right through from publish, the publishing industry, so kind of huge declines in textbook sales to student engagement, which is where we work. Um, even down to kind of MOOCs, so looking at completely new education models, like what's the role of a MOOC in universities? How can we educate people that um, have not had access to a kind of this kind of education before? Um, they're all kind of really interesting areas. If you're thinking of starting a business in education, uh, if you think you've got a good idea, then do it. Um, there's, there's, there's never a better time to like. Starting a business in education right now is, is it's a good time to do it, I think. Um, yeah, so just do it. Seek help. Um, kind of, there are all sorts of amazing organizations out there that are geared towards helping you start a business and also specifically geared towards helping education businesses. Um, so reach out to those organizations.